The reference controller is incredibly powerful. What it does is it will take the reference image and that will impact the output image based on what you provide. If you provide a picture of a person, then it will generally produce an image with that person in it, but the resemblance may not be exact. So if you are going for really realistic consistency, then you're not going to get that. But say for example, you put a Japanese male like I have done so here, you should get a Japanese male when you get the output image. And what I really like about using the reference model is you don't have to specify or go into much detail on the person that you want to generate because we've already done that with the image. So by just providing this image here and by choosing the reference type and choosing the method as the reference only and the balanced option, I can just put a photo of a man at a bar and I can hit generate on this and I can see what my output is going to be. Now I'm expecting to have an Asian man at a bar as my output and I'm also thinking because the person has a blue jacket on, it might also reference that in the output. So we may have a blue jacket and we should have an Asian person. Let's hope we get that with the output from this control net. So you'll see from these outputs that we were pretty bang on here, but you can see that it's definitely not exactly the same person as our reference image. But we've got our Asian individual in a bar and we have the blue shirt showing in two of the four images. So this is quite fun, it's quite good to play with and it's good to sort of trial and error and see how uh, things are going with this uh, generation. One other thing that I want to show with this control net type is if we put, say, a item of clothing in. So you'll see here I have uploaded an image of a red dress. So if I was to change my prompt to, say, a photo of a Spanish female wearing a dress and I'm deliberately being vague in my description of the dress. I'm not saying what style it is, etc. I'm just sort of saying it's a dress. And we can hit generate here. So you can see that we have the image outputs of our Spanish female wearing a dress. Whilst it isn't exactly the same dress, it's got the color red on it and it's got some details in it. So again, experimenting with this model can give you some awesome results. Just to go over some of the specific uh, settings on this reference model, because there are a few. There is the control mode where you can choose between balance, prompt, and control. This basically means if you choose prompt and it will put more weighting towards what the input prompt is rather than the image. Whereas if you put control, it will put more weighting towards the reference image compared to um, the prompt and balance sort of gives equal weighting to the two. And then the method, there is the reference only method. There is the reference adane method and the reference adane attention. These are all just different ways of coming to the AI image generation output. You can experiment and try out the different ways of doing this, but generally 90% of the time I find myself using the reference only method. But of course we want to give you all the controls possible. So there are the other methods there if you want to experiment with them. This is just sort of a brief overview of the reference control net model. Feel free to um, play with it and try it out for yourself. It's pretty fun and it can give you some really awesome results with minimal effort required.